Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I'm Daniel, just like Tenable with a D. Okay, sorry I haven't really posted a video in like three weeks. It's because I did film one last week. I actually filmed two. They were like the same thing, but I didn't like it. So I decided not to post it in the end. It was an autumn lookbook. It didn't really turn out very well. So I decided not to post it. And the week before that, um, I think I may have attempted the same video, but I didn't do it. Or I was lazy. I think it was because I was lazy. I wanted to chill. Like, have you guys noticed I haven't, I don't really wear makeup anymore in my videos because I can't be asked. Like I haven't worn makeup in so long. Like, even to work, I just, just can't be asked, you know, because especially with a mask, it's you know kind of gross. Because obviously, you like there's always like moist air, let's say here. After my skin feels like really like like greasy, oily, and moist. I don't know, especially with makeup, but with like normal skin, it's fine. I don't feel that sort of way. So like obviously with like makeup on you can I think you can see how like greasy and moist it is. So that's why I don't really wear makeup anymore. I just put lip balm to protect my lips. Which as you guys notice, you know, it was like really dry and sore here. If you saw my last video and probably the previous videos and also in my mask knee video there I didn't really emphasise much on the lips, it was mainly the face. But um it's healed now it was healed since a while ago so if you want obviously more information about that then obviously i can give you tips and tricks you can watch my mask me video i'll put the link down below or if you want me to do a new video and just focusing on here then i can just yeah comment down below give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and yeah i will probably do a video if you guys want that because obviously it was so sore i even have like witnesses if you guys want some witnesses um to say i'm telling the truth that it was really disgusting and bad like oh my god it was so crusty it was unreal it was so gross but anyways it's time for this video so i decided i will just do a video like i did mention this before i just haven't done it in a long time because like several people have been asking me to do a video about um nhs jobs you know to become bms so biomedical scientists obviously like i can't really give much much or much information on interviews like for training ba band five posts or beyond that because i just haven't really i'm not onto that stage yet but if i am i'll i'll let you guys know i'll help you out but like obviously i've only had one band five interview so i can't really help you with that obviously i didn't get it because too fair fair enough i totally get i totally understand why i didn't have very much experience i did for the again for experience and to get my um interviewing skills does that make sense interview skills like i just wanted to improve there you go because um i've only had a few interviews um in the nhs part of pathology so um I can give you some tips and tricks about that so yeah obviously every every trust and um hospital and department have different questions especially some are more specific to that department and what they do and some are more generalized and obviously for band five it's more generalized there is like a like a test so I did like a test for the band five and oh my god I didn't know how to do it because I've never done it before. Especially if I've only like worked properly for like several months. I didn't know what was going on. Especially I was um, just band two at that time. I didn't do any lab stuff hence why I didn't know how, like I didn't know how to answer most of the questions unfortunately. But in the end the manager did say that I did a pretty good job for someone who didn't know anything so um that's pretty good i thought it went really bad but you know there was not mine so okay i'm going to give you some examples and also some tips and advice on how to answer some interview questions i'm gonna give you like examples of some questions they ask i'm not going to say which bands because obviously it could vary and some bands might ask these questions even if it's a band two three or four five etc i don't know if they're gonna ask it depends on the person obviously and the trust 
breast and the department itself. So the more generalised questions I'm going to start off is when they ask what is patient confidentiality and how you can prevent it. They obviously some will give you scenario questions. This was a scenario question like saying oh if you um, knew someone and you were like processing their sample what would you do and if they ask for the result what would you do just so those sort of things so obviously the answer is no you're not you're never going to give anyone the answers ever unless it's like let's say um someone from the hospital as in like an employee let's say um, a nurse doctor whatever and it's their patient and they want to know the results so obviously you have to um kind of like like verify if it's actual person working in that like a hospital setting because if not then it's kind of like a breach and that's not really good is it and then obviously you just have to add more stuff to that as in like why you can't and obviously patient confidentiality you're not allowed to you're not supposed to and why is the reason why is this so other questions would be what is COSH like what it stands for so COSH stands for control of substances hazardous to health and obviously obviously you will say how is it important and how to prevent it there are certain things you can prevent it's obviously like ppe um, um handling samples and actually yeah samples as well handling samples and like let's say reagents and stuff in a appropriate manner and you can give examples of this saying like oh like flammable how you how do you deal with these things corrosive reagents etc stuff like that like other things like for the band for interview i did the last one which i got was if you don't know anything what would you do if someone doesn't know anything what would you do so these are like basically training questions so obviously it depends in your trust and department what they use so for me i said obviously read sops read q pulse which is like they have let's say documents and explain things or if ask someone um, ask them to give you demonstration etc stuff like that i'm not going to go into detail with these i'm just give you like just some a few points in order to get your head around it like for me unfortunately i didn't get any help so i just had to find these things out along the way like after each interview and obviously whilst working in the lab so trust values i suggest you should learn these they may ask you just don't know so trust values of the hospital you should like obviously re remember these and like if you could like give an example for each of the trust values obviously i can't give you an example because each hospital trust values are different so each one you should give an example and how would you perform it stuff like that so other questions would be like um why should we choose you compared to other candidates or which is kind of like similar as in like um, what are your characteristics and why you were suited for the job so basically for these two questions yeah they sound different but you basically answer in the same way saying like oh i got these characteristics blah 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 um this is why you should choose me and obviously give examples for each one like tell them how you kind of perform that as in a way like oh i can work under pressure um i'm hard working I am organized etc like why are you that why the question is why and how so if you give examples they kind of like obviously know what things you do and it will make you a better candidate compared to other people because you kind of you give examples you're explaining like how you do these things and stuff like that so always give examples for that so i can give you like a demo answer such as saying um i can work under pressure because i prioritize things and i deal with important tasks first compared to the ones that can you know wait so basically you meet deadlines you always meet deadlines you delegate tasks to people if you have a lot on your hands etc so other questions were like um there's about a time you're proud of your work and obviously i said this was uh, my first interview and i said about when I worked at Nando's, obviously I said Nando's is really busy and after there are times where I had to, we were quite understaffed so it was, there were several points, I was I was pretty new and there's several points um, where I had to like, you know, go around like the tables, the cat, the tills, like go around tables, clean tables, serving people food, like saying whether their meal was alright or whether they needed anything etc and also like um, serving people on the tills like it's because like most people are, like they were just standing around just talking to each other i'm just like what but there are people like that unfortunately you can't really do anything about it but um 
I'm not working there anymore so it doesn't really matter anymore to me This is pretty good answers for your interview So that's what I did for every single interview and have and they were pretty impressed by it, which was pretty good So um, yes, if you knew it doesn't really matter if you don't know anything because you could always ask You can always read SOPs. So yeah, that's what I did So the ones I'm gonna say are about five interviews. Oh no, I'm running on batteries so I'm gonna speed this up was what is HCPC and why is it important? So HCPC is health Council, oh god, <laughs> health. Oh my god, what is it? Health. Oh my god, HCPC. What is, what is it? Uh, health and care professions council? I got council, but I didn't get the right order. Health and care professions council. And they also asked what is CPD. I have to speed this up because I'm like capturing a battery. So. These are all the examples I can give you now. Obviously, there will probably be a part two if you want a part two. If you want more videos like this, me to help you out about interviews because I don't give very much examples and tips because my battery's running out. Literally, I don't know when it's gonna die. So um, don't forget to comment down below what sort of things you wanna find out and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down there. Click that red button down there. Dory, Do Dory, don't you think you should? they should um, subscribe and like and comment yeah i think so okay that's all that's all for today's video so hope you guys enjoy it and don't forget yeah if you want more videos like this comment down there down there like and subscribe cool 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 good anyways thanks guys for watching bye